Hello and welcome back. We are done with this greenhouse. Um, Jesse just got done running the center. So this greenhouse that I'm standing in right now is going to be an automated blackout system. If it was just a greenhouse, we would not have attached the channel on top. So you can see that there's a center purlin, and then you can see that there's channel running next to it. God, I can't really move my arm which way, but the reasoning for the center of the greenhouse, and he's running wiggle wire up and over. I'll make another video right now of him doing that. But this channel going on top of the frame is we pull our clear plastic over and we wiggle wire our clear plastic, which we'll get into here in a little bit. We wiggle wire our clear plastic onto this and then we wiggle it to the other side. That channel sits underneath the clear. When it comes time to do the blackout system, we pull the blackout curtain over the whole structure and I'll get more in depth with all of this as we do it, but just kind of describing to you what we do. And right now, Jesse's getting ready to put this channel on this bent hoop on the end. And I'm gonna stop this video and, and start a new one so I can edit how it bends and how people kind of try to figure out how to do this. So as you can see, this is a straight piece of metal. And it's actually not metal, I shouldn't even say that, it's channel. And what we're doing is Jesse's about to bend this metal onto the hoop. It's aluminum, it's very malleable. And you wanna put a tech screw every 12 inches, and that's just my opinion. There's no right or wrong way to do this, but definitely some easier ways get one more frame of you slapping one more screw up in there. Beautiful. Now we'll come through here with our bandsaw and we'll just chop this little excess off. Everyone does it different. Some people can start it right here and bend it that way. Put a tech screw right here and then just push the channel down as you go. Everyone has their own way. There's no right or wrong way. And we run channel right here even though your clear plastic doesn't get set to this, this is where your end wall plastic will go. And you'll understand as I make this video here a little bit later, I'm gonna set up some time lapses and then I'll pull my phone away to describe why we put this channel right here because your clear plastic is gonna roll all the way up to this bar and down. And then it stays fixed the whole entire top, up and over on each end post. Make sure your same space on the ground is the same space all the way up. And I really hope that these videos are helping kind of understand the processes. And I'm going to take a lot more in depth time on some of my other videos and make shorter ones, how to do this, how to do that. So you can go step by step. But I figured this was a really good way to show the processes that we take and give you the best knowledge that I can and provide you as we go along. So thank you so much, guys. We're uh, gonna get right into it, and I'll set up a time lapse here in a little bit. We're gonna get some end wall framing done. End walls are a whole nother story, and I'll go into that here in just a sec. All right, so this is one of our uprights for our fan. There's the other one on the ground. This is a greenhouse to greenhouse thing. This isn't exactly how you're gonna do yours because let me show you why. On the back of your greenhouse, every greenhouse has different size fans. This one is 57 inches wide. So we're doing 57 and a quarter because you have to have some variance to get the fan in between the two uprights. I cut my two by four to fit and uh, I've already put a torpedo level on this to make sure it's level. And then I take a two and a half, two and a half inch self-tapping tech screw straight down. I'm gonna do another one right here. It doesn't matter if you put your channel like I showed you back there, Jesse was doing the channel to go up and over this. The channel is malleable and can actually go over these bolts. So whether you put your channel on first and then put this screw in to get your upright or you put your screw in for your upright and then put channel over, it doesn't matter. Hope you're having a great day. We are going to skin this greenhouse that I'm leaning on right now. Um, here in a little bit, I have Ian in the background getting all the ropes thrown over the greenhouse, getting ready. The other guys are just wrapping up and uh, we'll do small segments in this video today on 
little tricks and trades, like I said. So, cheers, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Job less. I don't know if he's a guarder, though. No, he's mean. <laughs> he's real mean. What a cool dude. Right on. Light up solutions. <laughs> Just checking out, out the snakes. Oh, we... so right here, I've got the three guys working against the wind. You always put your end walls up first. And that's what we're doing. You guys are sitting here centering the plastic, making sure that it overlaps this second hoop. You want that overlap. Don't cut yourself short because this is what protects your blackout from leaking light. People are super paranoid about light leaks. I don't have this extra hoop on my greenhouses and I don't do skirting down the sides, but we'll get into that later. Right now, I just want to give you guys a little view of the guys working against the elements to get this shit done. It's super windy out here and they're tacking it up. What we do is we temporarily tack this end wall. We don't wiggle it all the way in. We tack it at the top with a short little piece of wiggle that we cut and I'll show you the tacks. We tack it in several different spots and then we leave it. And then we do the same with the other end wall and then we leave them tacked and then we pull the clear plastic up and over and then we pull these tacks and I'll get into all that as the plastic on there and I'll be on a ladder and we'll be in that session of the video here in a second. So cheers guys, just giving you a play-by-play a -play -play of how the day is going. Okay everybody, we laid the tarp out, we tacked it on the bottom and the bottom, and then we tacked it on the top and then we pulled the slack out little by little. Don't get frustrated, this thing's gonna flap back and forth, okay? It's um... It's very frustrating sometimes when you're really trying to get it tight in the wind. We're working against the elements. But this is what it's going to look like until you get the clear on. So don't worry about perfection right now. Just get it tacked up there in multiple spots. You can let that go in. It's going to flat for now. So that one's done. Framed in, end wall up and tacked. What we're doing now is bringing the ladders down to the other end where the door is located. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so you can see it's the middle of the doors right there, 12 feet in the exact center of 24. So, I am making roll up sides. I am going to measure in three feet and three feet and one foot out and slam a pole in each side. All right, so in your greenhouse, it's gonna come with a box of accessories and um, tech screws and parts and pieces that they don't wanna bounce around. So I'm gonna kind of unbox a couple of things. This is a hand crank. Your hand crank should come with a bolt and nut for this is where the shaft goes on and I'll show you over there when we're hooking it up. This is where your hand crank attaches. So right now, I am going to pull a handful of these out for you. The hand cranks should come with hardware on them. Super simple lock nut. What you're gonna do is literally just take the nut out, slap the hand crank on. Can't really mess this up, but I figured I'd make a little short video just to show you. So there you go. You've got a hand crank. Supposed to wobble back and forth, yes. Turns the shaft. Shaft turns the pipe that rolls your clear poly up and down. So with that said, I'm gonna go and hook these up, set them up, and make a short video on where I pound my posts and uh, how you can hook these up in different ways. Here I have everything I'm going to assemble for the clear poly roll-up sides. 10 foot sticks connected make the clear roll-up, not the 21 footers, but the 10 foot sticks make the clear roll-up from the ground to the channel that we ran all the way down. I'm gonna hook up one of these hand cranks to that pole. I'm gonna hook up a pole in the ground, I'm gonna slam it, and then I'm gonna run some EMT through it. Don't worry about this flapping plastic. This is normal, people obsess on this sort of thing. I got Ian over here rolling out the clear plastic. We're getting ready to tie ropes and we're gonna time lapse us pulling this. But um, just 
just wanted to give you guys a little preview before I slam these poles and then I'll go through and overview it with you in the video. All right, here we go. All right, number one rule of building greenhouses, don't ever pull tarp in a blowing wind. Um, let's give you guys a little read. We're working on the clear roll-up side telescoping arm. We had to tie the tarp off. It's blown all the way over this pad. There's four of us, four ropes. What's up, dude? But um, yeah, whatever you do, don't pull tarp in a wind. No matter how badass you are, you're fucking bound to mess something up. So don't pull tarp in a wind. That is a 40 by 100 tarp. Blowing in the wind. It's like flying a kite. Now you're good. Don't pull it. Don't pull it. There it is, guys. I had to sh cut a bunch of segments. You're gonna see that this last two got a panel underneath it. What you're gonna do is pull your end wall tight. You're gonna grab this plastic and you're gonna pull it. And then you're gonna forever wiggle wire all the way down here. And as I do this, I'll go back and I'll show you the finished results of everything. But, um,. Let's get into it. I'm gonna do some telescoping arms on the greenhouse. And the boys have all the ropes ran, the end walls tacked, the channel on top, on the sides, everything hot wheeled together, 100% ready to pull. Don't mind these roll ups, they are not adjusted yet. So, as I walk down here, I'll kind of give you an insight on what a clear poly roll up um, pivot point looks like. Um, you can use square metal, round metal, it doesn't matter. Hi, baby. It's my daughter. Say hi. Good job. So what I did was I went three feet in from the edge of the hoop. I slammed a pole on the ground. That pole is one foot out from the greenhouse. So one foot out and three feet from the edge. My clear roll-up sides go all the way down. I haven't finished channeling this yet. I'm just giving you insight. Put a bolt through there. This acts as a hinge. And then the hand cranks are super simple. I already went over hardware for the hand cranks, hardware for this piece. Drill a hole through this pipe, put the bolt through, and it rolls it up and down. There's gonna be a four foot by seven foot door right here. Same on the other side. One foot out, three feet in piece of EMT, three quarter inch. Make sure to take All right, home with you. we are going Pass to pull this other tarp on Give the greenhouse, the get them both 100% wiggle wired and the end walls done, and then push to do a blackout system on one of these two greenhouses today. Light depth solutions, these are light depth solutions kits. I am greenhouse guru or whatever, but um, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, I really appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.
<laughs> What's up everybody? We're moving really fast today. I already got the clear roll up sides on this one done. Every 10 feet, you're gonna put one of these black plastic clips. I mean, not every 10 feet, every other hoop. I usually do 10 to 15 per 100 footer. And the clips literally just clip on. So um, I'm gonna go show you the other side. That's what it's gonna look like after. Let's go to the other side and I will show you. And uh, just like so. Way down, this plastic. I just hit the bar on top, right? To lift the plastic up about an inch, and then I, one second, slap this clip on, just like so, pull plastic down, and then I do that all the way down every other hoop. And uh, let's walk to the clear side. Sorry guys, we were moving quick because number one rule is don't pull tarp in a wind. We were fortunate enough to get out here at like seven o'clock this morning, got this skin pulled. We're shooting to put both blackouts on both these greenhouses today. And I hopefully will be able to pull away for a moment and make some little videos so that I can continue to make these tutorials and, and how to's. We have ropes tied to pull the blackout. Our blackout is, is our blackout tied all the way? Yes it is. Good job, what do we have, three ropes, four ropes? Four, good job guys, four ropes, 100 footer. A door is going right here. We'll go through the framing process. We've got all of our aluminum clips sitting out. The aluminum clips are for your blackout system. They're for the 20 foot roll bars. So only thing I have here is 20 foot long roll bars. For my blackouts, we used the 10 feet, five inch ones that had swages for the clear roll ups and for the purlins. Again, so there she be. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you for all the support and love. Getting like 50 views is awesome. Uh, any views is awesome. If, if this video helps you, please, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't have a YouTube channel, it's very easy to create one. If you have an email address, I mean, it's 2020. I'm very computer illiterate, and if I can do it, you can. So, cheers, everybody. Right now, I have just the final wiggle wiring the over the tops. And then after the tops are done, we will then run the side wiggle on both sides. I like to hook my roll up sides and roll them up two or three inches on each side so it pulls it tight and taut so you don't have any slack up top. But before you put those sides up, you want to wiggle wire each up and over hoop on each end of the greenhouse. All right, listen to me. I need you all <sighs> subscribe, comment what your feelings are, and don't forget to <laughs> smash that fucking like button. Oh. All right, we are getting ready to pull the black plastic on this clear poly. Getting ready to pull it on this one. We already have ropes thrown on the one to the left of me, so that is what we are going to do. Setting up ladders in the center of both greenhouses on this greenhouse. On the other side, we already have a ladder. We're gonna put a ladder right here. And then we already have our ropes thrown, ready to pull. We're gonna pull it over, attach each Attach this roll bar to it and attach the other roll bar to it once we get it centered. Um, here in the near future, I need someone to videotape me so that we actually can get this process done. Um, my phone has been dying on time lapse, so I definitely have to invest in some external batteries and things like that. I do have a DeWalt one, but I've been slacking, haven't charged it. We've been really, really busy. So, hope everybody's kind of great. I know we are. So we have one greenhouse covered, 24 by 100. You wanna make sure that you have slack on this side. And you wanna make sure that you have slack on this side as well. I've got this side tacked where I like it. I'm gonna to go to the other side and pull it over, make sure I have enough slack on both sides. Tack your top center so that this doesn't flap up and away from you. We're fortunate enough to be pulling 
early a.m. in Ashland, and we have zero wind right now, maybe like a one to two mile an hour gust. Um, you're a greenhouse builder, you definitely learned how to read the wind. People ask me all the time, hey, what do you think the wind is right now? I'd say, oh, 10, 12, boom. It's 11 miles per hour on the Google, so. Never pull tarp in a blowing wind. Got the front end wall trim. All right, so um, in this video, I'm going to describe what you're going to get when you get a DEP kit. So this is a greenhouse motor. I'll go into more detail what these dials mean and how to adjust them in another video. Right now, I just want to show you how to hook them up. They're going to come with a packet of couplings, two couplings. We're going to open these up and uh, go through it together really quick. So... There's going to be some bolts and nuts in here. Little blue plastic cup link. Take that out. You're not going to need that. Pay attention. Threads and threads, but no threads. That piece, the one with no threads on this skinny piece, is going to go in the bottom of your motor. So I'm going to... It's going to come with a long nut and bolt. Let me uh, hook it up really quick, and then I will show you why. For the first couple years I built greenhouses, I um, I didn't know about this cup link piece, and I would smash a piece of pipe to fit in here. You want this piece to move, so what this does is it goes in the bottom of your motor, moves, you want to tighten the bolt and nut. Don't forget that, because eventually this will vibrate loose and fall down. So the one with no threads in the top skinny piece goes right there. Then, you're going to get another cup link. Pull the blue piece out. That's for a smaller, inferior um, metal that we don't use. So this one's got threads on the, on the fat piece. And this one's got a threaded hole right here. Which allows this little... Um, not nut, but uh, whatever the flipping... Bolt. There you go. Thank you. This goes on the shaft of the motor. Shaft has a little hole in it. Slide that cup link on. Give it a little bit of positive reinforcement. And uh, you're going to want to get some bolts and clack these down. But that is how you hook your blackout motor. I'll go into detail how the telescoping arms work and everything, but that is what you want to do. Cup link with no threads goes into the bottom. Cup link with threads and threads goes on top. Comes with enough bolts to put in each cup link, like so. Slide the pipe into here that rolls the length of the greenhouse, and then clack these bolts down and that thing will never come undone. Do the same for right here. My next segment, I'll go through telescoping arms. We'll, uh, we'll switch over to that here and um, we'll show you, but I just wanted to go through the hardware of a greenhouse motor and uh, just give you a little insight on what pieces go where. It's supposed to wiggle, it's okay. up on top of the center of the greenhouse, displacing his weight on each hoop. As he goes down, he's wiggle wiring in the blackout and the clear to the frame. So I'm gonna pan out, show you Gaia 
Stand up, guys. Say what's up. There you go. He says comment, like, subscribe. He's about, I don't know, a quarter of the way down the greenhouse. Be very careful when you're doing this. These hoops will never collapse. There's G putting in the uh, the wiggle wire. Last step on attaching blackout. Once you put that wiggle wire in, you can roll your blackout up and down. The curtain will be forever there. Cheers, guys. Light Depth Solutions is who provided these kits for us to build. And uh, they give us these really cool shirts and, and just really give us full reins to do what we want to do in life and have the freedom to be able to come out here and build in such beautiful environments and be and meet new people every day. So. Thank you so much for all the support from them. We really would not be anywhere without those guys. I mean, we'd probably be in like California again, honestly. So thank you then. We're in Southern Oregon, Ashland. Beautiful. Starting them young. Oh, bring it right here up to the edge of the pad. Yeah. Step right there. Okay, don't move. You're gonna hold that right there, okay? Thank you, baby. Off oh, my love. Good job. Mwah. All right, everybody. Base camp is loaded on the top. Everything's cleaned out of the greenhouses. We're gonna be building seven 10 by 90s uh, right behind me. And that is final look at the finished product. Haven't framed the door and we're gonna do that tomorrow. And have to finish the clear poly sides. Gonna be going to Home Depot to price out all the material to build seven hoop houses out of PVC. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and that I edited it good enough and um, that you guys get the gist of how to apply clear plastic, how to apply black plastic, what comes with the hand cranks, the motors, the clips, what clips go where, what pipes go where, what a purlin is, what a roll bar is, um, which roll bars to use. Let's get out of here, Jess. Oh, you're already ready. I'm over here yelling at Jesse, he's already ready to go. So again, thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. I really appreciate all the support. Check out Light Depth Solutions. Beautiful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.